famous helicopter okay welcome to the stream <coughs> this is rated 18 plus 18 plus so so many are still trying to find it hard to um to work out how to use helicopters in in custom battles so what i've done i've gone to my menu and i have changed this to the large so you can see normally it's on very small i have it on the very tiny one but anyway let's get back to what we're doing we're doing okay so i've made everything large you'll see everything so bigger you you won't have to squint you won't have to pull out the magnifying glass and i, and I apologize to some of my viewers for that i sh didn't realize anyway let's get into it shall we let's go custom battle right how to get that bloody helicopter into it let's go Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, my, my, my fault, my fault. I hit the wrong button too quick. Okay. Hey, boys. Hey, Gruff. Can you How hear me? Gr you yeah, good. I've got them under the two on mute because I'm doing a YouTube. Sorry, audience. Oh, okay. I can start up with the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so a lot of viewers are saying... This is Grub. Grub, do you want to uh, throw your little intro out there for uh, for the for, for everyone? Yep. Okay. My name is uh, Craig, uh, owner of Grub's Gaming 81 on YouTube, and I'm um, also a member of the Aussie Squad. How how one Mr. Wayne. He's our fearless leader, of course. Oh, thank you. And uh, well, you know, you Come are on, you the leader of the Aussie far. Squad. <laughs> oh, I, I tried to be sometimes, but I I prefer to just sit back and let everyone do their own well, thing. Well, that's what you do at the top. You make all your minions do all your work. That's how a chain of command works. Yeah, true. <laughs> Thanks for I'm that. I'm third in the command, and I make them do more. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to polish our medals, right, and scrub the toilet brush. Yes, we do have another uh, a second in charge who's not really doing his job properly, haven't we? But we'll we will bring that up at the next board meeting. Don't worry. Anyway, so so uh, I think in the last week we've been getting a few people saying, "Oh, you know, I, I like your YouTube on on the custom battle, but." How do you how do you get the helicopter in? I've tried so many ways, rah rah rah. So, um, some of them are Xbox players, but I don't think it it would matter would it if you're an Xbox player, a, a PC player, or a PlayStation player, because it's in the War Thunder setting itself. It's got nothing to do yeah. with yeah. The game, so, the game interface is pretty well basically the same. The only difference is um, the buttons between PC, between to the two consoles are completely different. So uh, what you see on Wayne's YouTube channel, for example, he uses the X, the square, those buttons could be A and B on Xbox. It could be a completely different letter on the keyboard. Exactly. Exactly. So, so we'll go back to the start, all the way back to the start. So there's my, my, my lineup. I've got I've got all my high tanks. I've got my jet. I've got my helicopter. And that's what people want to see. They want to see how the fuck do you use helicopters in custom battles. Now also guys, bear in mind that Wayne's using a PlayStation controller. So if you get any other savvy equipment, it could be completely different to you guys. But uh, yeah. we're PlayStation gamers and uh, we're pretty used to using the controller. And I'm pretty sure, I think we got it down pretty well, like yeah. control was. Yeah. Yep. You have the occasional accident, you know, mm -hmm. I must admit, I like my choppers, and yes, there are times where I've got to go up instead of down, and I've thrown the axis out and thrown my helicopter into the ground, it happens. It happens. Anyway, so, so we're going to go, we're going to show them how, how in, the, in the park. So, I've explained many of times, and I, and I think because of, uh, my screen setting is set to the, the very smallest setting it can go on a UL. So I think people have to squint, or they've got to get a magnifying glass. Yeah. yeah, I just have. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go through again. You cannot use it in tournaments, okay? Tournaments won't allow us to use helicopters in custom, okay? Um, operation will not let you use it. History will not let you use it. Domination won't let you use it. Ground strike will not let you use it. 
Um, I'm not too sure about the air, but that doesn't have tanks, so I think it would no. work. The others will not work. So they will not work, okay, people? They will not work at all. And I think maybe that's where people are uh, going, oh, I can't get it to work. No, it will not work in any of these. Yeah, it only it works. Be, it might uh, be used either in a standalone helicopter battle or a, air to, or a ground realistic battle type of yeah. thing. Yeah. So under the tournaments, under the tournaments, you got you got your domination, combined battles, you got your battle, and then you got your conquest, correct? Correct. Yep. Yep. They are the only free that will allow you to use a custom helicopter in a custom battle. They are the only free you can use. But mind you, when you use them, you've you've got a lot of maps there. Like fuck. You got all the maps you want, isn't that right? Yep, yep. There Same. are certain maps like this. I think the city map. I'm not 100 percent sure. A new one that they released for aircraft will allow helicopters either. But it's probably because it's strictly aircraft only. But I'm not 100 percent sure on that one. It would be a gr that heli that um that city map would be an absolutely beautiful helicopter map. I reckon. It would be actually. It would be. Flying around buildings, shooting each other, playing hide and go seek. Because you got that hover mode, so I think that would be really, really fun. Yeah, maybe you should jump on your game and and, and 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 let's get into it. I can join you in a sec. Yeah, okay, we can wait. I am a smoker. Oh, haven't I? Haven't, oh, it is rated what? Eighteen plus. Yeah, mature audience. Yeah. I recommend it, especially if I'm in your in your game, because <laughs> we're we're adults, you know. We tend to um, we're, we're Aussie, so there you go, enough said. <laughs> enough said, enough said. Straight into it, straight up to it. Fox one. Oh, wow, that missed. Ah, oh, we know what you're playing. Mr. Grug is playing his rocket lead. Nope. Nope. I am doing eight three aircraft realistic battles and he just hit the ground oh crap so did i well at least i'm free for helicopters now <laughs> now i acquired a new aircraft today after doing hours and hours of grinding and um i'm break I'm, I'm breaking it in t a lot of teething problems with new aircraft obviously but uh yeah it's it's going to help me grind the swedish tree because obviously with a new update coming out guys um, there's going to be lots, loads of new vehicles, including which you're going to have to pay, pay real attention to Wayne's helicopter video because there is a squadron helicopter coming. Um, I can't, I don't know what country it's coming out on, but I do know it's the Apache helicopter. So if you want to really get into your helicopters, Ooh, a, yeah. uh, a squadron vehicle is coming our way. Oh yeah, baby. There are a variants of the Apache in War Thunder currently, but to add one more, why not? Yes, the big boy. Now, what to bring? See, I've got plenty of juicy little choppers to bring. Oh, yeah. well, bring what you want to bring, you know? Yeah. And we'll show the audience that it does work. There's no ifs, buts about it. It does work. All right. I think I will please the American crowd and uh, bring some American choppers with me. Hmm. And we're going to show them the two different ways too. The one you can only have planes and helicopters, or you have the tanks and helicopters. Alrighty. So I just need an, an invite now, Mr. Wayne. I have my oh, American quickly. lineup, which is the AH-1G, which I find a lot of fun to play in AO. I have the UH-1C Bell Huey at 9.3, and of course the uh, premium AH-64A Apache. No tank lineup. If you want to protect your ground units, you got to have you got to have some beautiful uh, ground support yep. helicopter, and the Apache's one of them, or the other nasty one, which, is, which everyone hates, which is the, the um, KA50. But I love it. Okay, uh, we'll kick it. We'll kick it off in Red Desert, shall we? Okay, Doki, I am ready to go. Okay. So am I. So. Let's get into it. So, da 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 da. Come on, back here. 
Oh, sorry, I swear. Oh, wait. Beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on the top of the list when you go into your settings, you've got to have it on custom. Okay, it's got to be on custom. Reason why, it's more fun because you can change all your settings. But if you don't want it on custom, just put it on realistic if you're a realistic player. Put it on sim battles if you're a real sim player. But we have it ours on custom, don't we, Grub? Yep, yep. Reason for that is I'll show you in just one fucking minute. Sorry, I'll swear again. Just can. Oh wait, that's a bit late. We got to work on the uh, uh, sound effects department. Yeah, thank you. All right, we got the settings: helicopters, tanks, and planes. You start off from the lowest you can, go all the way. You got to have this little baby in it. 11.0 including bots well including bots is all right so grub and i are just going to come out in um well we'll come out in a helicopter right grub yep yep all right so we're going to change that including bots so we're going to have fun hitting ground targets air targets and probably each other depending on how mr wayne decides <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> see it's his video so i'm just going to be the training dummy all right, dummy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not get too personal, obviously. So we're going to go to the highest rank you can go. You must have that on. It's no good putting on that one, that one, that one, that one. It's got to be a high. But well, that just means every vehicle is available for that country that you're currently in. So yep. not just helicopters, but also jets and tanks as well. Now, when we include bots, right? So if Grub and I go out in our helicopters now we will be attacked by jets by planes and jets right but me and grub don't want that do we grub no no, no. so we're gonna put bots. Well, you can remove you can remove either the the aircraft from the bots but it is actually very important that you actually add ground targets or that the helicopter battles don't seem to work that way so that's one of the things we've discovered fooling around with the settings so you must have at least a couple of ground targets. It just means something else to shoot down while you're while you're mucking around with your friends, or you get that one person not mentioning any names, Mr. Bender. He comes out in an anti aircraft tank. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, that's what... <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry for the smoke, just cough, hang on. That's what Wayne thinks of anti-aircraft tanks, you just, yeah, it despises them. When you're trying to fly around in your helicopter and get used to it and mucking around, and then you got your mate that comes out in an anti-aircraft tank, ah, it just wants to ruin your day. But, that is what your top tier helicopters are for. They're, they're just as good against ground targets from a long distance, as well as, um them trying to get to you you know both under are updating their uh, military vehicles updating their weapon systems there's new Ooh, bombs yeah. and stuff coming with the next update um stage yeah. two weapons as well so it just means more and more avenues more and more things to do more more things to play with and uh yeah it just means more fun for us really so now i've added bots in tanks okay Ooh, we're gonna have some fun so the tanks are going to join us Okay, so you can have the amount of number of plays you want. I don't, I don't think we'll have 40 because it's, you know, 38 fucking bots. That's a lot of bots, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So let's... I think I think 16 is probably the minimum number you can have. You reckon? No. Yeah. I've got yeah, any miss on the eye. Okay. Add side, yeah. Let's see. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll just stick to 30, eh? See what right, happens. That yeah. Yeah. See what happens. That works. Helicopter full of hydras? They're screwed. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> or anything Swedish 3.0 with their 500 millimeter of a pen. Yep. See, by setting your custom, and the reason why we we, 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 we play it in custom mode is because here you can change everything you want to you're make basically it. Basically in control. Yep, that's correct. So if you're an arcade player, for example, you, you can, um, like, uh, for existence, you get this thing. So, in RK, we all know as soon as you pop on the fucking map, you're either blue or red, don't we? 
you know so, um, that's in okay realistic you, you know when you get close to your tank you pop up so we have it very near so when we're in jets we have to virtually wait to the last minute to work out if it's an enemy or it's a friendly you know right grub and that's just like some sim battles they have the similar settings so you've got the realistic settings so you can still fly around naturally but you know it makes you concentrate more it makes you pay attention more on what your target is I and mean, i think that's that's about as realistic as you're going to get you know you don't see a red name above an enemy tank in real life you know that didn't have happen in afghanistan you know? <laughs> no i didn't do it no oh. so no it just makes you think a bit more and also add to either your protection or just know who your your friends are at the start it's always good to know what they're driving what where they are you know the map still works so you can still still see where your friends are on the map that way you don't make too many mistakes but that's custom you're not going to lose anything no you want it's ready up done oh nice i like mm. this map yeah Red Desert, one of my favourites. The Vietnam map with the, with the Bill, Hue, uh, Bill Huey, I think, pretty good to go back to the whole nostalgia of Vietnam. But running around with a Cobra? All the, oh, I might go the Apache for this one. I there think you everyone go. might see the Apache. Um, I'm sensing a nice guy, I'm not going to carry it out as. I'm gonna hunt the ground tires. Also, bear in mind the higher you go with uh, helicopters, the more um, weapon systems they will carry. Like, um, I've got ballistic computers and um, systems like that on, on the Apache. So, yeah, the higher you go with your helicopters, the more fun you will have. The more buttons you'll need to learn to control, too, which is uh, a lot harder on um, controllers. So, uh, you end up figuring that out. You will. Like to make uh, myself look backwards, I set mine to. I bonded the button to on a, on the PlayStation controller. I bonded it to um, L2 because you don't need L2. It's a quick way to look around. I do recommend setting if your helicopter's got it. Do you set the uh, plus six computer? Now we don't know what's going to happen now, do we? Pretty high up at the moment. Nope. nope. And this is where your ears will come into play as well because you're listening for the sound of a helicopter like you would in a tank battle, you know. If you know where your friends are, you know where your teammates are, and you hear a, a, um, a different sound or a different engine, that's where also you're looking through your sights, looking at your radars, if you got them, they all come into play, and that's what makes them a lot more fun. And you don't get penalised if you accidentally shoot down a teammate, so that's just as much fun as well. True. Well, I'm scanning the ground now. Oh, I can hear a jet somewhere. Uh, that's not me. I'm in a, I'm in a yeah, helicopter, so I'm being good. I'm a good boy. Searching for tanks with my uh, front cannon. Out of 30? I can't see. I think there's a 20 or a 30 mil cannon on the front of this. Oh, there they are. Enemy tank spotted. Oh shit, that's really zoomed in. There we go, multiple hits. It is over. That is quick. Oh, no, nope, we're out of bullets. Ah, there's a Mr. Wayne. Really? Yep, I've got eyes on you already, boy. Oh, fair dingo. <laughs> I forgot what my uh, me hover button is. Mayday, mayday. Uh, left on the D pad and circle? Nah, I've changed mine. Oh, okay. For everybody else. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and 
Oh my god, what have I done? Okay, I'm gonna go closer to the ground. And, uh, let's, uh, let's zoom on in. I thought we would have seen some uh, jets up in the air by now. Yay! There's a T-62 that's... Uh... Oh, I can hear you. Yep. I have a radar lock on you right now. Seriously? Yep. And uh, using my radar lock, which means my 20 mil cannon is trained on you, no matter where I go or which way I face. If I pull you... the trigger right now, it's already calculated for your airspeed, your distance, and if I pull the trigger right now, you're screwed. Oh, you, you, you should be My moved. 20 mil will, will face nothing but you. Hi, <laughs> Wayne. Are you under me or above me? I can hear ya. I want to pull You dumb idiot. Hey, I oh, no. that was nice. So I could have pulled the trigger on you. <laughs> <laughs> I had you the moment I got my weapons um, selector locked on you. I'm not the weapon selector. Um, what's the other one? Radar lock. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I just haven't figured out how to correctly use them. I see, I have mine set to, um, to set the lock. Um, left on the, on the um, uh, D-pad and X. Once it's picked up on the target, like you have to sometimes have to spam the X button to get the lock. And not only does it let me use my 20 more cannon, and face it directly at a target on the air or the ground. It would also allow me to change uh, my ATGM so I don't have to manually um, fire them. I can actually fire them as an, a um, laser guided rocket. So they work just as good as um, any air to air missile, really. As long as you get a lock on and uh, don't lose your target. So. Essentially, it's how a lot of the top tier players actually use their ATGMs as lock-on missiles, and they're quite effective Whoop. too. Whoop. Go up, go up, go up! Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know how I say that. Hey, wish I had my hovering button. Whoop. Belly up. They, they, that one would have shot me by now. <laughs> I've got one stuck in a rock. That's right. Weapon stabilizer mode. That's the one I meant. So you use your weapon stabilizer mode to lock onto a ground or air target. And uh, once you get a lock, you can fire your ATGMs at any distance. The, uh, well, not any distance, but the distance of your ATGM. But it also works for your 20mm cannon on the front of the helicopter as well. So not only can you fire ATGMs, but within range you can also use your gun to shoot your ground targets. Grub. Oh, not much. You are nice. my enemy by the looks of it. Yep. Now you and me, we, we, we sort of uh
<laughs> that is using weapons lock against your enemy. <laughs> so all I had to do was focus on avoiding his rockets while my 20 mil cannon uh, dealt with Wayne. That sounds like an air to air rocket. <laughs> I'm gonna save the bees! The bees are angry with me! No! Where's my flare button? <laughs> okay. Be very, very quiet. We're being hunted by Wainos. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on, that's an anti-aircraft tank. What the? Hey! <laughs> yeah. But you are. Oh, bugger, 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 bugger! Up, 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 up! <laughs> I lost my landing gear. That's not cool. <laughs> I thought this was a helicopter tutorial. It is. <laughs> you had a helicopter. Oh, I see. I see how this works. Oh, oh damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wayne doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> wow, well, so, um... Wow. Just looking at the news. Wow, I'm not gonna say it, but uh oh. I didn't do it. <laughs> I was using my reaction to everything. Oh, that sounded close. That was a gunshot. Someone's using a 20 mil cannon at me. Oh, there's, there's a tank battle down here that I have to interrupt. Where is he? Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, too low, too low, too low, nose up. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, look at him. I'm trying to hide behind the rock there. Ow! 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 <laughs> <laughs> See you later, alligator. <laughs> Okay, four words. Air to air. Air to air, <laughs> alright. Alright, so now I'm equipped with ATGMs, air to air missiles, and my usual cannon. Since uh, Mr. Wayne's fly swatting at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Me? No, 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 no. Now I'm about to demonstrate why, why an ATGM is just as good as an air to air missile. Bear in mind, ladies and gentlemen, the, a the helicopters carry more ATGMs than air to air rockets, so uh, if you could use those against enemy aircraft, you're set. Most experienced helicopter pilots would have known this already, but for you, you guys, stuff to enjoy when you get up to some of the. Uh, Big boys. Mina helicopters, yeah. Mm. I like to call them Nazis, but they're nicer in your hands. They're not Nazis, they're just how they're built. And to be honest, it even looks really cool having um, a, uh, that 16 ATGMs, uh, I believe four? Yeah, 16 Hellfires and two ATG, uh, air to air rockets. So essentially I've got 18 chances of knocking Wayne out of the sky. Plus 20 more cannon to boot. Oh, so you're on the ground? No, I'm in the air. I'm back in the helicopter. Oh, are you now? Must be the slowest helicopter out there. I cannot... Oh, they take their time. They take their time. <laughs> they do. That's, that is what the, the only thing. Why can't we spawn where the planes spawn? Why can't we uh, build a helicopter base, right? Nick's door. You know what I mean? Well, usually the helicopter bases are closer to the airfields. 
Or closer to the action than the airfield, I should say. Where is he? Where is he? Oh! We hear and see a helicopter. Oh, what? No way! <laughs> No way! I watched that missile go right past me! No way! You were watching the, you were watching the ATGM, I used my machine guns on you! Oh! <laughs> like I said, when you get a weapons lock with the machine guns, they will calculate your speed, your, your altitude, everything. Weapons computer, ballistic stuff. Yeah man, top tier choppers are deadly even against aircraft. So that chopper that I had, that premium one, that is just yeah. like out of date, virtually model. No, 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 you've got some of the same systems I have, but compared to something like the KO-50, the Euro Tiger, or the, um, the Apache, yeah, you've got a slight disadvantage. If you're going to buy a premium, I do recommend testing them all and seeing what you feel comfortable with. Um, to be fair with you, Wayne, the only premium helicopter I don't have is the one that you're flying. Yeah, it's it, it's sort of not designed for top tier in in a way. Like it, it's designed for top tier, but not at top tier. It's effective, but there yeah. are there are better options. To be honest, like yeah, the better uh, option right opinion, now is to find you and shoot you down, isn't it? Yeah, in my opinion, the if you're going for go for a premium helicopter. Um, my opinion is the uh, Apache, the American Apache, and the Russian KA-50 are your two top helicopters right now. Well, in another perspective, they're the two helicopters people swear at the most. I wish we had stealth mode planes. That would be good. <laughs> yeah. But I'm gliding around. I, I'm, I've cut all my engines off. I'm just gliding around like a bat. Yeah. Or, or an eagle. Now you might have threat. cut your engines off, which is great against air-to-air, -air, but they won't help you against radar lock weapons. Well, which means both my ATGMs and my uh, 20 mil cannon, are, once I get a radar lock, they will still hit you. All I need is visual confirmation, like that. How, how do you, how, how do you, how do you, what the far out? Where the hell were you? Oh, 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 oh. Well, if you oh. want a demonstration, just how deadly these, these helicopters are. Yeah. How's that going? It's going good so far. What about you? Hmm? I'm doing hmm? great. Hmm? I know, you were, yeah, yeah, but uh, surprise is the element, buddy. The surprise is the element. Okay, so how, how, how would you go against a top tier jet nowadays? Like I don't have a top tier jet, so I would not whoop. I would not know the feeling. Okay, they they can hold their own. Um, you, you would definitely say that the the jets do have some advantage when it comes we to speed. But if you get a helicopter in a nice little maneuverability uh, behind a cliff, you move maneuver it behind somewhere where you, you've got adequate protection, and you get your first shot off, you're just as deadly. You can do the trick. Ah, oh, there you are. Now, there I go. Fuck, I hate that command of feet. Oh! This is... That's all I needed. To find my target, which you shot at me first, so I can figure out where you are. Lock on an ATGM with the um, weapons, uh, not the weapons selector, the. Um, uh, ba -ba -da -da. I did say it before. That uh, weapon fucking, um... He's in it? trouble, everyone. He is in deep trouble now. I, 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 I do the job properly. Weapon lock, that's what I need. Weapon he, lock. He can... You get that on target. You just need visual. And your radar and your... Trumpet does the rest.
<laughs> well, actually, why do you might have to BV out? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have the BV in my custom lineup. I must put it back in there. It's a juicy target from long range, but uh, for short range, I might be in a little bit of trouble there. So if you're up high, I do suggest if you're in a helicopter, I do suggest getting low when it comes to anti-air and uh, also against the threat of jets. But, you know, your helicopter can land in the most unusual spots. You wouldn't get your tank or something like that. So you do have a lot of advantages with your helicopters. But also, they are can, they can be tank bait, they can be aircraft bait, so... Pick your spots, get used to them, get used to manoeuvring with them. Uh, yeah. Fly around a bit. And, and the settings that we got in our custom, it, it's close enough to a um, sim battle, isn't it? When you yeah. Look at it? yeah. It's a little bit of both. And it will train you, it will help you out. It will let you get used to your vehicles. This is a good way to practice. It is, isn't it? Not, against, not just against moving targets, but also just flying in general, because sometimes flying a helicopter for the first time can be very daunting. See, you, you, you might outwit. Oh, I've got to get back up. Get back up. You were saying? Help! Any anyone out there that's playing right now? You seen the password? Capital M, me. Just get on. Get here and back me up. I'm oh. Wayne, um, how about I suggest you take take one of these two out for a test drive and see what you think. Yeah. Spend mm. a little bit of money, get either the KO-50 or the American Apache, or wait till the update when the American Apache comes out, the squad vehicle, mm, and like uh, give it a go, give it a try, because you can see right now, this thing's a pain in the ass. But you know, in the right hands, these are these are deadly weapons. But you know, you've seen me before. I've had my occasional accidents. Takes a little bit of um, setting up, but uh, once you've got done it, you know, hide behind some rocks. You know, get to know your terrain. Wait for the, maybe wait for them to make the first move, or use your optics to find vehicles on the ground, hover around somewhere, and when you find your target, let them have it. I got poor old Mr. Wayne here on the back foot. It's his video, and uh, <laughs> now, I'm now, running now. out of ATGMs here. Mind you, my cannon's done most of the work. Oh, I'm trying to find something here. Um, hover mode, hover mode, hover mode. Where are you, hover mode? I cannot find you. I'm blind as a bat. And Oh, here we go. Hover mod, hover mod. Oh, please, 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 let it be this one. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Now you're in trouble, big boy. Okay. I think I'll run an anti gym before I get into trouble. I should be recording this. <laughs> How to handle a helicopter. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, maybe that was you back there. <laughs> right, look 
looking for a new Linda High stack, isn't it, really? Shit. Yeah. I guess it's only gonna make it harder once you land or land it on the ground somewhere. Can't be high up, and I don't think you'd be low down. Where are you? Hey, um. Catch! No, you missed. Where are you? That's the question. Ah, uh, I hear. I cannot see. No. Catch. No. I'm sick of this catching. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> I was underneath you. I was actually on the ground. <laughs> All right. You want to make it a little bit challenging? All right. All right. So what we're going to do now, <laughs> right, we're just going to hop out of this one. Yeah, that, that was the... Uh, oh, we're going to return the hangar. <laughs> Cheesy. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so you think you're pretty good, eh? You really think you're pretty good. I wouldn't good. say I'm good because I do, I do get com commonly knocked out by um, anti-aircraft and other vehicles, but... I'd like to say, I do alright. So I take it we're going back to hangar, or? Yeah, we're, I think we should be back in the hangar. Alrighty, I can do that. Wait until the end of the battle. Oh, oh I, just, I just got out. <laughs> <laughs> you're very, you're very cheeky. Alright, so let's see. Okay. I will say I've had a lot of help from Cam and a few others learning the systems to these vehicles. Oh, I hate it when this thing plays up sometimes. It's it's really annoying. Not all squad members are ready. Oh, hang on. I'm just adding helicopter. Oh, okay, yep. Well, I figured since I had the upper hand last round, <laughs> I'm going to, <laughs> you I'm had going to lower myself. I'm going to lower myself. 
Indeed. And bring out the previous version of what you had, which you had the the MI-28. I'll bring out the MI-24 Hind and make it a little bit more even. Yeah, that sounds good. Alright, I'm ready. So, what is your plan, Mr. Wayne? No, plan? I, I, don't, I don't have a plan yet. Still says not all squad members are ready. I'm clearly ready on the screen. Hmm. Are you ready? <laughs> no, but I want to change the me. Uh, <clears throat> I want to change the uh, the mission, the map, and all that. Oh. Yeah. So I don't know. So we might back out and then just back in again, real quick, eh? Alrighty. Yep. Yep. All right. Stay with us, gentlemen. Alrighty. Okay. There we go. Right, uh, let's see. Any particular map? Any particular map you want? Uh, I'm good either way, dude. I'm good either way. Why are you doing that for, PlayStation? Stop it. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. My PlayStation is playing. It's not playing up. It's just the, the bloody controls. Can you stop it? Okay, I want to click on this. Thank you. What would have more cover? What map would you say would have more cover? More cover? Okay, so the, the, the reason I have to do all that is because we've got to change one little thing. One little thing. Yes. We have to change that, okay? So remember that. Boop. Here we go. Me. Ready up? You ready up? Ready to go. Really good. <clears throat> oh, yep, yep. Good little map. Oh, I could have brought a BMP with me. Because that'd be a challenge trying to find a BMP swimming down the river without getting shot down. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where is my hind? Oh wow, I'll take that set up. I've always had a soft spot for the, the hind. Russian Hind helicopter. Just looks mean, even if it is slightly out of date. And look at all the jets. Fuck me. Like a beehive yeah. over there, grub. Don't go that way. <laughs> They're everywhere. That's okay. Just in case I get too rowdy, I do have a KA50 on board. Oh, I got no self homing missiles. <laughs> this is not good oh. for me. I've got a mix of self humming missiles, air to ground rockets, and a couple of machine guns to boot.
And you know the best thing about this? What's that? Is that, all right, if you got a group of mates and you got a, got a lot of groups, you know, a lot of mates, so you, you go, all right, a couple of you go on that side, a couple of you go on that side. Um, we don't want to put the bots in, we just want to use the jets, you know, as, as the yeah. bots and no ground bots. And you can have your mates in your helicopter, you can have your mates just in the tanks, you know. <laughs> Mate, I'm in the middle of a beehive here. I don't know how I'm... Where the hell are you? Oh, I just flew over A point. Just follow the A point. Okay. Can't fly. I cannot fly for shit sometimes. Oh! Get your ass back here! Are you chasing a jet? No, they're chasing me. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Yeah. Take on my thirty mil, you bugger. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're coming after me now. Oh, ho, 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 ho. are you serious? Go away. I wonder how low we can get him. Oh, here comes another one lining me up. Uh, no, that's me. Holy fuck. Go away, you. Okay, yeah, that's unreal. Helicopters are a lot of fun. They Once are. You get used they? To them. So that's where I will end the YouTube part, but me and Grub are still going to go on and on. Yes. <laughs> So you may be a, a free enterprise out there for some woman. Yeah. <laughs>